temperature in the cornea has been investigated as early as the 1940s, if you go back into literature. I guess this was a relatively easy parameter to look at in the earlier studies. And nowadays we know that temperature fluctuations may change um, the overall behavior of the ocular surface. They may play a role in tear film stability, ocular blood flow, IOP, but we have identified corner temperature um, as a potential factor in a very different field. We have been looking for factors regulating the efficacy of CXL for a number of years and so far we have identified one essential element. Um, the identification was done five years ago by my group. Um, it is oxygen. So oxygen is a very potent regulator of cross-linking efficacy. You need oxygen in the depth of the cornea to have the cross-linking stiffening effect. And, um, and then um, about one and a half years ago, I stumbled about an older piece of literature saying that in the physiology of the cornea, you can increase oxygen diffusion by lowering corneal temperature, which could potentially mean that if you lower the temperature of the cornea before and during a cross-linking procedure, you might see a better efficacy. And this is what we have done in the lab, and the first uh, results of our experiments are quite encouraging. So we have chilled corneas prior to and during cross-linking and we had an increased efficacy. Corneal cross-linking has been a fundamental game changer in the treatment of corneal ectatic disease because prior to CXL there, there was no technology and no treatment for these corneas. So the only thing you could do is excise the cornea, replace it by a different cornea, live with a 10 to 15% reoccurrence of the disease in these transplants after 10 to 15 years and ever since CXL technology has come up 15 years ago the number of transplants for example in Europe has dropped by 50 percent. Well um, there's lots to do. We first of all in the lab will substantiate these first findings by increasing the number of samples we have provided, maybe find the temperature optimum and if this turns out to be um, as promising as it seems to be now, then the next step would be to go into clinics. Um, if you look at PRK, at uh, refractive laser surgery procedures on the surface, we chill the cornea after the procedure to reduce inflammation. And in the case of cross-linking, we, we might want to chill the cornea before the procedure in the future.